Hi, welcome to Tech Talks. My name is Cliff Heidel. I'm a solution architect here at V Exchange, and a little bit about my background. I've been in the industry about 24 years. I've done everything from telecom to hyperconverged infrastructure, down through ISP services, managed services, even cloud services. Even did a little quick stint at a uh, cybersecurity company. Today we're going to have a little discussion about data center and co-location that V Exchange provides. I'm going to explain to you some of the benefits uh, for co-location and, and why it might be something you want to put into your IT portfolio. So let's get started. So I have conversations daily with clients that tell me how well their company is doing, how they're experiencing this great growth potential, how their product is making a you know, difference in the marketplace and how they're beating their competition over and over. And what I always ask them is, what's that recipe for success look like? And a lot of times they'll say to me, it's my IT department, it's our great applications, it's our test dev environment, it's our ability to go to market first. And a lot of times that consists of having stable platforms and having the ability to push your product first and foremost to the, you know, to the top of the heap and beat your competition. Not only in timeframes, but also in stability and resource capabilities. So when someone says to me, okay, you know something, I'm, I'm a little bit interested in data center. Can you explain to me some of the benefits? Okay, very simple. Data centers have redundant, resilient systems, the typical industry buzzwords. However, if you come to a tour of a data center, you're gonna see multiple generators outside, multiple commercial power feeds and how that building is supplied. You're gonna see the UPS systems in the switch gear, which is commercial enterprise grade. On top of that, we're gonna have redundant cooling capabilities and the ability to connect you from the data center to multiple carriers that are out there. So in which case, what's, you wanna you want to favor a specific carrier, you can have that type of uh, choice through the data center rather than having to worry about a carrier trying to pull cable or fiber to your infrastructure where it currently resides. This gives you risk protection and brand protection. Most clients, when they have a major disaster, so clients that were involved in, let's say, Hurricane Sandy or you know, the California wildfires or even Hurricane Harvey recently in Houston, they didn't recover. 40 to 60% of businesses did not recover because their data could not be recaptured. Their brand was impacted to the point where people stopped going to it and selected new vendors. This alone is something that having a co-location, having a DR presence, having a backup in a facility throughout the different regions can protect clients against. And those are the main benefits. IT resources are finite. Space, power, cooling. Um, network resources, additional bandwidth. You know, how many IA carriers can you get into that actual building that you're in? Can, can you bring to that infrastructure? And what's the cost? So when we start to have that discussion, I start to tell them, look, you know, at what point are you going to hit that wall? Are you going to hit that point where I cannot install another server? I'm not going to be able to, you know, cool that equipment, you know, uh, properly. We've all seen that waste paper basket sitting outside the IT door when the AC goes down and do not close. We don't want that to happen to clients. We want to actually have that open and frank conversation. When is it a good time to discuss about backup recovery and archiving and DR capabilities, disaster recovery? Um, a lot of times clients will talk about it on a quarterly basis. They'll talk about it on an annual basis. Uh, we will discuss things like full replication solutions. We'll also discuss mission critical solutions. So a lot of times people are like, look, I, I, I can't replicate the whole cruise ship that we've got sailing right now um, from an IT budget perspective. But you know something? That's where we sit down and we go, well, look, what is mission critical? What has to stay up and operational no matter what to keep your business up and running? Which are the things that you, this company cannot live without? And those are the things we will sit down and say, look, we need to protect those. How do we protect them? Let's move them off site. So in the event, the primary area that those facilities were housed in has some type of a, an event, a catastrophe, you have a place, you have a go-to that you can spool things up, work remotely, be able to keep your company up and running and your presence in the market and on a solid footing. That alone is, you know, I know sometimes it's a hard topic to discuss on, on the financial side, but can your business survive without it? And most of the time when we ask that, that hard pointed question, 
clients go, okay, we do need to have a, we do need to have an open conversation about this. We're ready. We're here to help. Let's outline it. Let's build a project plan and let's see what we can deliver for you.